Assalamualaikum and good evening to everyone. Uh, my name is Hanif Bey Samudin. So I would like to do a presentation on our mini project, which is the car rental system. I am um, representing my group members, which is Muhammad Irfan bin Anwar and also Taju Salam bin Hanafiah. So the basic idea of the system is to help the society in particular places to rent car or even provide a car to be rent. This system will computerize and centralize the user data so they can search for car in one application and also will help the owner to improve their daily tasks which is will automatically provide calculation for them. So let's jump into the demonstration of the system. Apparently, we have two users for the system, which is the rental and also the owner. The rental of the user uh, is the one that search for the car and rent the car. While on the other hand, the owner is the one that owns a car and wants to give rent of their car. So let's jump into demonstration of the system. We go into the owner first. Let's say I am a new user. So on the right hand side, we have the sign up button. Here you can see that we have provide validations. Let's say the incorrect input from user. So the system will not accept unless it will key in only the correct information. So here we need to uh, insert email. Let's say I put in uh, email. So we sign up. Apparently, if a person undergo registration, it will automatically log in into the system. However, just to be confirmation, the system uh, login function is functioning. So let's say I key in again. Each of these has their own validation. So now we are into the system as owner. This is the main interface for the owner interface. The owner interface is to provide a place where an owner can post and publish their car to be ran. So this is the button where the owner will create the uh, booking posting. So we put in the create new. Here we insert the owner name, which is in this case is Zaharin. And then this is where the car will be picked up by the customer. So I say that I park my car at mm, in front KSU. So here I will leave my contact number. The contact number is very important since this is the method where the user or customer will contact the owner. So I key in car name or car type, which is in this case. And then we also insert price. For below two hours, I would say my car is around five ringgit since it is MPV. And also for additional 30 minutes, uh, I put reading it. So now we save the information. You can see that the information saved successfully since we implement real-time database. So now we already create a posting. We can actually view our rental posting. This is the one that I uh, created before. And also here you can see that this is the one that I created just now, which is the latest posting for my car. And also here we have the delete button where as owner, we can always have the authorities to delete posting. 
So now, once the posting has been published, let we uh, let us see what uh, it looks like from the rental perspective. Same here. Uh, we need to sign up as the first time user for the rental. Uh, let's say I put. Same goes to rental uh, interface. If they went and undergo the registration process, they will automatically log into the system. Uh, however, the system login function is totally working and have their own validations. So, once we're in the system, as a customer that search for a car, we must and have a look at what's available for booking. So, we just click here for view booking. You can see that here, all the posting of owner will appear here. You can see that there are currently two cars available for booking, which is the first one is Hanif in Frank K2 Guard Post. He leave a number here, type of car, and I also have the basic idea that the car is two ringgit and extra thirty minutes will increase one ringgit. Also, we have here the latest posting, which is the Zaharin in front KFCU, uh, zero nine two seven eight three two nine nine. So, if I wanted to book for the car, I will just simply contact this number and ask for whether the car is still available or not. And then we also have this important notice where call the number to book your slot, please drive carefully, payments can be made once the car has been returned and park the car appropriately. Okay, so now let's say I have done using the car and I have returned it to the owner. So now I would like to give a feedback since I am very satisfied with the function, with the service the customer provided. So I can rate the owner car. So in this case, I would like to rate the Zaharin car, which I just now. I say that the car, the car is in good condition and affordable. Price. I can also give star for the uh, owner. So now, the owner will always want to provide only the best service for the customer. So this is where our third function came in, which is the feedback function, where once everything is finished, the, the owner of the car can actually view feedbacks from what the customer already used the system. You can see that, oh, a customer already rate my car, the car in good condition, super valuable, rating given 5. And also, the other customer used my car and said the car is in good condition and affordable price. So let's say a bad comment came in, so the customer, uh, the owner can actually, oh, I'm like in this kind of service, so I will try to improve it later. So as you can see, apparently, the system has two function, which is the rental and owner function. Also, the additional function is the feedback function to improve the services. We implement four widgets, and also we have the first one is recycler view. We have image view. We have rating bar, and also we have card view. And then we also have implement the database, which is the Firebase database, real time database. And lastly, for sensor, we did implement sensor, which is the accelerometer sensor.